nerds, what's up? Today, I'm gonna talk about the Green Bone Saga by Fonda Lee, or better known as Jade City, Jade War, and Jade Legacy. Now, you've probably been hearing a lot about this series recently and are sort of tired of hearing about it, but I don't care. This series was amazing. This trilogy blew my mind and I feel like I have to talk about it. So today I'm gonna give you five reasons why I think you should read the Greenbone Saga or maybe a better way of describing it is giving you five reasons to see if this trilogy is even for you. Maybe give you an idea of what it's about and whether or not you'd enjoy it. So let's get into it. If you've never heard of it, the Greenbone Saga generally follows a single family that's in a clan in the island of Kekon in the city Janloon. The magic system in this book uses jade, the stone, and certain people, particularly from the island of Kekon, can use Jade to enhance different abilities. And this story is really about the struggles of our main clan and the family and the struggles they go through dealing with this magic and dealing with the world at large. My first one is don't let the mafia vibes scare you off. Now I know that's kind of a weird reason, but I wanna talk about it because Canonically, on my channel, you guys know that I'm not really a huge urban fantasy person. I talked about it on my Dresden video. I've even talked about it in my Era 2 videos for Mistborn by Brandon Sanderson. Like, it's just not necessarily my vibe. So when I heard that the Greenbone Saga and Jade City was an urban fantasy and even more, it was like mafia gangster vibes, I really was not interested, did not sound like my thing. I only read it because so many people were going on and on. And then I ended up absolutely loving it. So if the whole idea of mafia or urban and fantasy generally turns you off, I'd say don't let that be a factor necessarily in not reading the Greenbone Saga. I think there's so many other elements that are amazing that it still can appeal to those who don't usually like that subgenre. My number two reason is if you like deep character growth and a large scope in books. One of my favorite parts of this series is being able to follow the characters for a large portion of in-world time. It's something I like about a lot of books, especially most recently like Dandelion Dynasty. One of the reasons I felt so connected to the characters is we were seeing decades with the same characters. We really saw their growth. The same is true of the Greenbone Saga. We see characters change and grow over time in very realistic and believable ways, which made me feel very connected to the characters because I was seeing them over a long period of their life, which I feel like just kind of helps you connect to the characters even more than usual. The other interesting thing and something I really love about this series is we kind of start with a small scope in city, we get a little bit bigger of a scope in war, and then finally legacy is the largest scope of them all story-wise. And that kind of slow growth also just worked so well in the trilogy format. And I really loved how we were not only seeing characters change, but in the end, a country change and how they were dealing with that. And that made the series very satisfying. The next one is because it's a family tie slash found family story. Now I feel like the found family trope is probably one of the most popular, at least based on my comments. I feel like I always hear my subscribers talking about found family being one of their favorite tropes. Now I will admit like the whole clan idea in the Greenbone Saga is based a lot on just like actual blood family, but I do feel like a lot of people get adopted in and it just has that kind of found family vibe to me where these friendships are deep and there's a lot of exploration about what blood means and family and familial ties and adoption into families that I found extremely compelling and for me personally fit that kind of itch for the found family. Like I just love reading stories about people who are extremely close and will do anything for each other and there is that in spades in this trilogy. Number four is magic with consequences. Now if you've been following my channel you know I'm a huge Sanderson fan. He's like one of my favorite authors and because of that I sort of do subscribe to his ideas about magic. I really love them and one thing he always says is that magic needs consequences and I found that I find books without that kind of hollow like it often frustrates me and so I really love in the Greenbone Saga how this awesome magic system has clear limitations. We see it often. Magic comes with a cost and it's a predictable and consistent cost. Something else I really liked about it is we have very powerful characters in this series, which I personally love reading about. I love really powerful characters, but the power levels remain the same. They make sense. You're never like, hmm, oh, that doesn't seem realistic that they can do that. Like it all makes sense within the story. And we do have to deal with consequences, which makes the story more stressful and makes the magic honestly just more interesting to read about. And it's probably one of my favorite parts of the magic system in this. Number five is that this is an extremely fast paced and stressful read and each book is better than the last. So if you want something fast paced and that's gonna keep you engaged, 
This is the trilogy. I know that each book gets longer, which sometimes I will complain about, but in this case, I feel like it's totally justified. I was engaged the entire time I was reading it and extremely stressed out. Like, I actually think I said in my Jade City review that it was one of the most stressful books I'd ever read. Something about the way Lee writes and the family relationships and the consequences lead what's happening to be extremely stressful. And that keeps up through all three books and it's something I really enjoyed. So if you're kind of in a slump, or looking for something that's not gonna be like laborious and slow, this is a great trilogy. Also, in my opinion, each book gets better, which is often hard to find in a trilogy. I mean, I made a whole video about how I feel like the second books in a lot of trilogies are often the worst. Now, in fairness, I did rate Jade City and Jade War the same, a 4.5, and then Jade Legacy a five. So again, still like an incredible rating for an entire trilogy. But I did feel like there was momentum and they were getting better with each book. So again, the trilogy's finished, you know it's finished and each book gets better. I know very few people who didn't like Legacy. Like most people feel like it was a book of the year. It certainly will be one of my books of the year. So that kind of also makes it worth it to get into the trilogy. Okay, those are my five reasons I think you should start the Greenbone Saga, despite the hype. I know some people get worried about hype, but I think in this case, this trilogy completely deserves it. So let me know if I've convinced you to start it or let me know if you've read it and what you thought of the trilogy. Maybe you can ask me in the comments where I can be spoilery, which parts made me cry in Legacy because there were a couple. <laughs> I felt very emotionally connected at the end. Or on the other side, let me know if you read this trilogy and you didn't like it. I haven't heard that a bunch, but I'd be very interested to hear why you didn't like this trilogy. Also, before I leave, I just have to give a big thank you to Bo Kelly, who is the one who sent me these gorgeous editions of the Greenbone Sag. Uh, I had missed out buying the awesome Illuminacrate versions and he sent us all three of them and they are so gorgeous. So I'm very appreciative. Thank you again, Bo. I ended up reading just the regular paperbacks. And so I love being able to have these on my shelf, especially since the series is definitely one of my favorite trilogies of all time now. As always, if you like these kind of videos, please like and subscribe. And if you want to see what I'm currently reading, as well as other in the moment rants about nerdy things going on, you can follow me on Instagram at bookborn.reviews. I'll see you next time. Bye.